Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for next seven days, right? We're going to do past, present, and future as best we can. And your person, whoever's coming in, if you're single or whoever you're, somebody that is prominent in your energy, however it resonates with you. So keep in mind that not every reading is for you. Some people still don't get that. You know, they put some stupid comment underneath and it's just like. Anyhow, what do we have for a message for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? So, happy Virgo season. Happy birthday. I could sing for you. Happy birthday, Virgo. What do we have for Virgo? Oh, we got two. Independently owned and operated. So you're independently owned and operated. Now this could be business wise or you're single or you're choosing to be independently owned and operated. Maybe that's where you've been. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? If you've been independent and this could go either way. Okay. Are you ready for the next card? New love entering your life. New love entering your life. So, and new love could be a new job that you love. Okay, this is a new love that is, it, it goes from independent, well, actually, well, this one did come out on top, but I want you to see this one first. <laughs> Independently owned and operated to new love entering your life. So, new love is entering your life. You go from independently owned and operated to a new love entering your life. Now, new love could even be self-love. Could be. Spiritual awakening. So you may be also be going through a spiritual awakening at this time. For a lot of you, you're going from independently owned and operated to... I, I don't know. Maybe not so independently owned and operated. That's up to you. <laughs> you might hear my stomach. My stomach seems to be gurgling. Maybe it's butterflies. I don't know. Ooh, look at that. It's beautiful. This is the birth of a new life. It really is. This is a life giving energy. It's bright. It's bright, it's beautiful, it's warm, it's sunny, it's happiness. This is bliss. It's bliss. This is joy, right? This is this is uh, vibrating at a very high level. It's interesting that the, you know, it's in your sign. Okay, so it would make sense that you're shining, you're glowing, you're you're illuminating a bright energy. Okay, and I feel like you're. You're glowing. You must be glowing during this time. It's interesting because we saw that spiritual awakening card. High Priestess on the bottom. So some of you are uh, going through a time of spiritual growth at this time. It's definitely a time of growth for you. Now the High Priestess sometimes or typically chooses to be single or is single. This is a very uh, spiritual individual that has chosen to focus on their spirituality focus on themselves take time out to to um, observe and reflect and uh, deepen their spiritual practice so you may be deepening your spiritual growth during this time i feel as though uh, some of you may be even teaching spirituality or doing some sort of healing work because the sun is very healing and so isn't the high priestess. Some of you may be dealing with a high priestess, a healer. You know, this person has some sort of uh, gift. I mean, the sun is a gift. It really is. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful gift. This is a gift. 
So you could be dealing, either you have a beautiful gift or you're dealing with somebody that has a beautiful gift. This is a life-giving energy. It's a new day. It's a breakthrough. It's definitely a time of spiritual growth for you. And some of you may even be able to uh, make a business out of this gift. But there is a new love that is entering your life. Mm. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So what do we have for Virgo? Bright, bright, bright day. A bright, beautiful, shining, glowing. Feeling good. Happy. Happy, 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 happy. Oh, boy. Take a look at that. It doesn't... I mean, this is highly spiritual, right? Obviously, when you have it twice, this is deep intuition. Pay attention to your gut. Pay attention to your intuition because you are definitely vibrating. The sun is a very high vibration. So you are vibrating at a very high spiritual level, okay? Your gut is talking to you. Your gut is speaking to you. Definitely listen to it. Some of you have a gift and it's growing. This gift is growing. Justice reversed. Herophant. Wow, wow. You're going to be, we had that deep spiritual connection. The high priestess and the hierophant are counterparts. They're counterparts. This is, this is uh, a match made in heaven of some sort. Divinely guided. There's some sort of two people that have, well, justice is in the middle, but it's reversed. There's been some sort of imbalance or poor decision or lack of integrity justice reversed is an imbalance it's not fair unfair treatment uh, some i don't know what that is bad karma justice reversed right in the middle of the high priestess in the hierophant it's not fair something isn't fair you may have been treated this is the past but if so say you were treated unfairly in the past maybe you're in a karmic contract with somebody and god protected you or a higher power but maybe you're an unfair commitment or something and you were protected maybe you were rejected or you know the justice is a re in reverse is like a some a loss that probably doesn't go in your favor maybe you had to end a contract with somebody because it it was needed for your spiritual growth Maybe you were treated unfairly so that you could go through a spiritual awakening awakening of some sort. I do feel like it, there's been some sort of unfair treatment in the past where you may have not gotten what you deserved. But it, it sparked or it yeah, sparked your spiritual growth. You definitely have a divine connection to the higher power. There's absolutely no doubt about it. And there's increasing spiritual abilities. Some of you may be, be becoming a healer or a teacher. Maybe you're teaching. You're going to be teaching your spirituality. Or you're going to be helping others to heal in some way. Definitely a very healing energy. There's a higher power involved that... You know, may have broken you free from a false contract that wasn't bringing balance to your life or it wasn't uh, what you deserved. Maybe this person wasn't on your spiritual level and you're going to be connecting with somebody that is definitely on your spiritual level. Woo! Four of Wands in the future or the present. And six of Wands reversed. Knight of Swords reversed. What about the future? Devil reversed. Chariot. And Judgment. Boy, we have a lot of majors here. We got nine cards. And we have six majors. Plus that Sun card up there. So seven majors. 
but we have nine in this deck so that this is universally driven the universe is is driving you in a new direction there's some sort of universal protection here the universe is guiding you there's definitely divine guidance here this is out of I mean yeah free will plays a part but I feel like it's it's what it's what the higher power wants presently you may be not in any hurry for a commitment you're not in any hurry to move forward you may be um, Well, the Six of Wands reverse is no progress. It's like failing or, but and then the Knight of Swords reverse could be fear of failing. You may be, you, you may be scared. You may be, you may be, because uh, we have a commitment. First card out is the Four of Wands. We have a get together. We have a commitment. This is a, this is a celebration, right? It's an opportunity to build a foundation. Some of you may be attending a get together where you meet somebody or you go someplace and you meet somebody. And you're not looking, right? You're in no hurry. It feels like you're in no hurry to uh, move forward with this. And maybe it's because of fear. The Knight of Swords reverse could be extremely fearful. You know, fear of failure, fear of, of uh, letting your guard down. There's a lack of confidence with the Six of Pentacles or Six of Wands reverse. You may not be feeling very confident about a partnership or about marriage or about commitment right now. I feel like right now you're not in a position to move forward you're, or that's how you're feeling. But you may go someplace. I mean, we have these two doves, you know, and doves symbolize love and there's two of them. So you may go someplace where you connect with somebody unexpectedly the knight of swords is definitely unexpectedly on a reversed or upright and this is like it's a losing battle of some sort it's because of that six of wands it's a, like a loss of of uh well i think that's your own confidence let me get another card for that in no hurry in no hurry to let your guard down Ace of Cups reverse, not not emotionally available or emotions all over the place. I feel like right now you're not really looking for love. Independently owned and operated. If you are in a relationship already, I'm not sure if something is failing. I'm just being honest. I mean, the Six of Wands reverse is a failure, no progress. Uh, I'm not sure if you're dealing with an unrequited love situation. Somebody may have gotten married too fast or they got themselves into a commitment too fast because they wanted to ward off the competition or they wanted to win and they weren't thinking. So I'm not sure if that's your, your story or not. But if you are in a coupled relationship, I mean, the Six of Wands reverse is no. It's a loss. This is a... A, a constant battle being blamed for everything you know emotions may be all over the place if you're in a relationship right now I'm just being honest there it's like somebody may have gotten engaged or they may have gotten into a commitment it feels like too fast too fast and it's not there's no victory here there's a no victory here and whoever you're dealing with may be uh, very smug and very cocky and has no staying power this person may uh, be ignorant they may not this may be a know-it-all if you are in a relationship already with somebody you may be dealing with somebody that is emotionally unavailable or they're really playing with your emotions they're making you cry I mean I don't know if that's your story like I said this reading is not gonna resonate with everybody but if you are single, I feel like you're not looking for a relationship. Maybe because you were with somebody that f it failed, right? It failed. This person was abusive. There's abuse here. Mental abuse. Verbal abuse. And maybe that's where the fear comes from. So this is definitely for either one. There's fear of commitment. You could be dealing with somebody that rushed. If you are in a commitment now, maybe either you or them rushed into something. And now there's like no victory. There's no, there's no progress being made. There's, there's always a need to go slow.
I also, if you're single and you're watching this, I feel like there is somebody that is rushing into your life and you're not in a hurry. It's like, no, 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 no. I'm not looking for love. I'm not looking for love. And boom. In your future, we have the devil. Re and this love could be a job. I don't know what, I don't think it is though. For some of you, it's definitely a relationship. Anyhow, in your future, we have the devil reverse, the chariot reverse, and the judgment cards. The devil reverse is breaking free from toxic, something that is toxic, from something that is codependent, um, taking back your power, taking back control, moving, moving in a new direction with the chariot card, determined, very determined to have success. You may be, you may be getting rid of some addictions. Maybe you're finding your willpower and your discipline to remove yourself from toxic things or toxic situations. This is, you know what, I'm taking control of my life, making a life-changing decision in your future with the judgment card. Some of you may be breaking free from a person that uh, there's been some sort of obsession with. It could be a person, it could be an addiction. This is definitely breaking free from something that is not healthy. It is. This is taking taking charge, moving in a new direction, dealing with opposition, uh, finding your mental strength to overcome obstacles. F really, really um, making a judgment call and releasing something. So yeah, you're going to be releasing something. I also feel like there is somebody coming towards you that... Uh, is your opposite so there it's like you're they're your opposite opposite but this i feel like you have a past connection with this person so it's interesting it is interesting i feel like this person may be different than you as far as maybe it's their culture or their looks it's completely opposite for you okay this could be like a i don't know what you call that interracial situation um judgment making a judgment call breaking free from some sort of obsession taking back your power taking back control and I also feel like there is somebody coming into your life that is a leader this person is a leader this person is strong this person uh, I don't know if they drive, they drive for a living, they have something to do with cars, they work on cars or something like that. Anyway, there's this it's like in the future you're going to you're going to uh somebody maybe you're going to need to make a decision as to whether you want to give somebody a chance or not. Somebody wants you to give them a chance. Could be a Capricorn, could be a Cancer, could be a Scorpio, could also be a Taurus or a Libra or a Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So I guess we have everybody here. Let's get your person. Let's talk about your person. You're definitely moving very, very fast. By the end of the seven days, you're going to be going in a completely new direction. Life-changing decision. The end of things. Headed towards victory. Headed towards success. You're the boss. You're in control. And there is somebody, I feel like there is also somebody coming towards you that is very determined to win. It's like to win, I don't know what it is. What are they, what, what, that's, that, what are they trying to do? Ah, oh, win your attention, queen of wands. This person thinks that you are very, very attractive. I think that you are determined to focus on your health as well. You are breaking free from toxic behavior, whether it's eating, food, drugs, alcohol, uh, codependent relationship. You are definitely finding your mental strength to break free from whatever isn't healthy for you. 
you are releasing and you are going to be definitely vibrating at a high level strong 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 and there is somebody that i feel like there's somebody that is watching you that sees your he sees your confidence sees your high vibration this person uh is coming towards you really 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 fast you have a lot to be proud of a lot it looks it's like it's like your strong determination is oh it's a vac very very uh seen you know i can't think of the word for it everybody can see it you're definitely glowing you're on fire you're on fire Anyway, let's talk about your person. Looking really, really, really good. Your person, seven of swords reverse, six of pentacles. Nine of swords reversed. Somebody that we're talking about. Five of swords reversed. A lot of thoughts here. Whew, somebody that you're dealing with wants wants to give you something with the six of pentacles this person is definitely watching you somebody's watching you Virgo they're watching you they have they they they're very worried they're very anxious I don't know if they've hurt you in the past with the five of swords I mean the five of swords in reverse is like a hostile situation this is like all out war I feel like we have somebody here that has been watching you. They've been they've been watching you. Uh, maybe they've been watching you grow. They're coming back around. I, I feel like maybe you know this person. Extreme regrets. There is somebody that what goes around comes around with the six of pentacles. It is. You reap what you sow. Begging, begging, begging. Somebody wants something from you. They want something from you. Maybe it's another chance. Or they want you to give them a chance. Somebody is watching you. Five of swords. This person, I don't know if you've already pushed them away or they've pushed you away. This is, this is like choosing to be happy, the five of swords reverse, letting go of emptiness, walking away. I don't know if somebody is walking away, or you're walking away, or they're walking away. Somebody has walked away, or they're walking away. This is too stressful. It's too stressful. So I don't know how that re resonates with you. I'm going after what I deserve. I'm going to get what I deserve. So somebody, somebody is going to get exactly what they deserve. I don't know if there's been some sort of deception here with the Seven of Swords. It's like getting caught, getting caught, getting caught cheating. Has somebody abandoned you or neglected you or put you in a situation where, you know, now they want forgiveness, but they, they didn't treat you right? You know, they deceived you, they lied to you, they cheated on you, you know, and now they're giving deep thought to the relationship and they want you to give them a chance. What the hell is this? You're vibrating at a very, very, very high level. Judgment is a card of acceptance. Oh, did I just give somebody the figure? Maybe that's, I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, um, that's a card of acceptance. It's a card of release. It's a, it's a life-changing decision. It's the end of things. Making it's a, it's a final decision. So you're going to need to make a final decision based on your, you know, self-confidence, your dignity. I feel like you've come a very, 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 very long way. I feel like you are in a very strong position and I feel like there is somebody here that treated you unfairly that uh, abused you. There's some sort of abuse here. 
Maybe that's the, your fear. Maybe you're, you're fearful of giving anybody a chance because of the previous abuse. Whoever abused you in the past has serious regrets because they may be being cheated on right now. There's definitely, whoever you're dealing with, there's some sort of cheating. And they're going to get exactly what they deserve. And I feel like in your future, you are, you are so moving in a new direction. It's like you are proud. You are proud. You are glowing. You are in charge of your life. There's no stopping you. You're unstoppable. Breaking free from toxic situation, moving, taking a journey, traveling, traveling to a new destination. Some of you may be traveling. It, it, I feel like a lot of you are, you have, there's a new, there is somebody new here. There is somebody new here that, that is very attracted to you and I think that you're going to be mutually attracted to them. This could be a past life connection. It could be somebody from your past with the judgment card. Somebody sees your power, okay? They see your beauty. They see your grace. They see your strength. They see your uh, glow, put it that way, and they're definitely coming towards you in a hurry. I don't think you're looking for it. I don't think you're looking for it at all. You may also have somebody here, if you're in a coupled relationship, that is moving. They're moving towards, an, I'm just being honest with you. We have somebody here that is moving. They're making a final decision to depart a toxic situation because they've found their strength to do so. This is the end. It's the end of a trial. Moving. And maybe you're just ready. Maybe you're ready. Maybe you're ready to, to break free from this toxic person or situation. You are definitely determined to have success and you're going to have it. You're going to have it. Some of you are traveling somewhere. You're traveling or you're moving or something like that. If you're going to court for anything, you could pro you'll probably win. You'll probably win against whoever if somebody if you're going to court, you probably will win because of your your aura, your vibration. It's very clear to see your positive energy. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. Dream come true. Deepening a bond with somebody as well. You're going to be deepening. Deep fulfillment is coming. Feels like you've earned it. Hard work. Your hard work. It feels like you've earned something. You're, and there's some sort of recognition here. I feel like you're going to be getting some sort of recognition. Anyhow, this week you may be receiving, you could be receiving some sort of accolades. I feel like it's accolades or attention. You're going to be receiving a lot of attention. I do believe that there is somebody that is coming into your life. This person could help you heal. They're going to make you feel really, 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 really good. Put it that way. Good luck.